and use your sketch. I think it's really important that we do the best job we can to locate the best superintendent for the school system for our students. I think we owe it to them to look all over to find that best person that's going for our school system. And I think a search is the best way to do that. Any yeah, other discussion? If not, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Passes unanimously. Now on to the next. Who does the search? Do we do it in-house? Do we uh, hire a private group? Or do we go with the... Uh, if my understanding is correct, I mean, it, it would be foolish to try another state school board uh, association because and, and ours are really restricted to North Carolina so I'm assuming Tennessee and Virginia and Wisconsin they're all you know doing similar searches within on, on, for only their people so I think those are the three options open for discussion after hearing uh, Ms. Schaefer's uh, presentation well I think she mentioned that Charlotte did an outside search and the costs were upwards to 80 something thousand dollars. Um, and I looked at some data showing that the costs are significantly more than what they're going to be charging. So I think they have probably the best process we can look for. And um, I, for one, think that they do a good job with it. From what I see what they offer, now doing it in house, I, I looked at that option as well. We'd almost have to have another person dedicated solely to that, that cause, which would probably get up into the you know, to a high range as well. I mean, we're gonna have to have somebody booking flights and making arrangements and doing all this and that whenever we can let them. I think they're a one-stop shop, so to speak. They can do it all. And, um, I would offer my support to allow NCSBA to, to do the search. I feel the same way, if I might say my opinion, uh, based on uh, previous experience twice. Put down the Cleveland County school system, I mean, merge system, and uh, the old Shelby system, too. Uh, but I also think there's another thing that if we did it in house, we almost have to uh, spend a lot of money for our attorneys to tell you to keep us straight, or at least keep me straight, and uh, to uh, uh, also explain the ins and outs. Like uh, somebody asked about uh, how we did the meeting, you know, how we did the opening. Close bit with it. So I'm all in favor of uh, Dan. Now, I did understand her correct. Now, she will interview our in house people or out of town people, uh, wherever. It don't matter where they come from. They, they That's interview right. everybody. That's right. That's right. Well, they'll no. get a no. they, they, don't. Don't. they don't interview, but they'll get the group they'll together. That's in house and everything. They accept anybody applications. Did. Okay. Yeah, anybody that applies. And, and right. check right. references and so forth, you know, and I like the idea. I didn't realize that they called up who they strategically or who they felt would give them the honest answers. You know? and so, uh, well, Mr. Chairman, I'd yes. like to, you know, we've used it before, and I was on the board when we used it the last time, and uh, very pleased with the school board association. And with that, I'd like to make a motion that we use what kind of school board association for the search process. Second. 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 Again, so, any further discussion has been moved that we uh, contract with the State School Board Association to facilitate <laughs> our search. One, 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 one quick observation uh, in support of the motion and, and second is that uh, there, uh, you know, you vote not on favoritism, you vote on, vote on performance. And uh, the School Board Association has shown and demonstrated that has been uh, uh, recommended and appointed by several school districts. And, uh, and I think that's the basis of our decision is based on their performance. Any further discussion? When are we, I do have, are we going to try to move this timeline up? As she we said. Vote on okay, vote. all right, let's vote on the motion. <laughs> uh, there being no further discussion on the motion, <laughs> all in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Passes unanimously. Now to perhaps the most difficult part. And I'll let you carry on, Ms. Barr. I just would like to get her here to get this part to give the waiting another two. What would you get her share? Two weeks? Mm -hmm. uh, well, no. I mean, she said that we would need to get so 
we would need to call a meeting for next week, right? Next week. If, if we could do that, then she pretty well shortened it by one week automatically. Mm -hmm. I think. And she said we could shorten it. In some of those other places. Yeah, but I don't think yeah. we have to decide that necessarily mm -hmm. tonight. No. I do think we need to decide on a meeting for next week. Call meeting next week. Yeah. Yes, all right. Uh, are we going to be able to get the public participation in this within this next week? No, no that, we don't do that then. We, we, well, we when would do, that take place? Okay, that would take place after next week. Next week we would need to find, and of course it's going to depend on her Perfect. schedule too, when she, you know, it's kind of like tonight, because, and it sounded like she wanted to be here for that meeting, and so we would meet with her um, to to set the timelines and so forth next week, and then, then we decide when that community input, when that part of the process will begin. So she sat that down for April 14th. We possibly can move that up. Is that not right? Uh, the community and staff is February 28th okay. and March 31st. That's what I was asking. Could that be shortened to three weeks instead of four weeks? And it automatically will start earlier if we get started next week, so then they'll start, they'll get the um, surveys ready and then we can advertise that the surveys are online. So that now she did say, I, I don't know if I'm the only one heard it, but she did say after we voted, if we wanted to call her back to set up a meeting for next week, we could do so. Um, look at you. <laughs> Y'all um, just tell me when you want to meet, but I guess there again, we can't just set a meeting if we don't know what she well, we can do it another way. Though. Okay. Is anybody not available Monday through Thursday next week? And then you just Nobody's going to meet on Friday. Well, if it took it, I would do it. Well, I, I, I mean, I think I'd we like all to do would, the first but part of the week. I think the first part of the week. I, I, I would do. I I'm available any day. I'd say you contact her after the meeting, probably, and just find out what her schedule is and work through her and let us know. I'll call her on the way home. She gave me her cell phone number. <laughs> and we're talking of evenings next week? I don't know. Uh, well, I was thinking that, but, but but that was out of respect, really, for the working people. You two sitting together over there. Let's see. Oh, Richard. Yeah, Richard. <laughs> we got to be careful. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I would prefer evening, but I'm available in the next week. Well, I, I think just hearing everybody. Everybody's going to make a special effort to be available so whenever she can. Totally do. depend on what she can work out with her. But I, I, I don't think she would said it that way if she weren't available sometime this week. Yeah. And, and she seems to love to drive the way she was talking because she, she really, she told me if she had not gotten an email about six o'clock this morning from her boss, who's Ed Dunlap, who said, "I will not allow you to be on the road." <laughs> she would have been here tonight. So, <laughs> anybody else? Danny, you had. I mean, Donnie, you had your. Uh, um, I was going to just say it's. Um, I'm definitely, you know, up for whatever day we need to do it. I did want to make an observation. Um, with, I like the way they do the surveys. I think that's going to be a great method. But I would also like to see public comment be included. Um, I think one of her concerns where, you know, I think she said there may be a lack of participation. And, um, you know, people just don't come to meetings like that. I would just like to see public comment, you know, be included in our process because I, for one, don't think there will be a lack of participation. Um, I think we probably have to control how much participation we want it um, and put some um, limits on it because I think people need to be heard physically as well as online. You know, some people aren't going to have access to online methods and, and I think it would be good to see people in person and hear what the community has to say just to get a pulse on, on what they have to do. So whatever route we choose to take on that, I'd just like to mention that I'm strongly in favor of that. And I second that. <laughs> Any other comments on that? I agree, it's a good idea. Uh, it, it, and, and obviously we can't get into a, a dialogue with community members, but opening up a, a, a forum where they can come and tell us what, what they hope that we look for in, in a in a can, I mean, you're going to get some generic things, get some of those children and that kind of thing. But, but you're going to get some, some specific things that we may not have thought of. And uh, uh, online surveys, 
are good in that it helps with this patient, but you're answering particular questions usually with little drop downs and you're choosing this and that, and that does limit your ability to, to really say what's on your heart. So I, I think Donnie gave me right. Uh, some, some community forms. Uh, I won't be opposed to having one in, one in the county and one in the other. Uh, that'd, that'd be okay with me to travel some. And, so, and, and all these things that have been there post oh, that's that's right. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, and, I, and I'm just saying that because I think she recommended because sometimes, you know, some districts don't get the turnout that they're expecting. Mm -hmm. I think we definitely get the turnout. And I, I just wanted to be said that we as a board did everything possible um, to include the community in this process. And um, I think, you know, once we open the door, even if two people show up, at least we open the door to do what we said we would do. Well, I like the idea of what Barbara said. I think we might need to travel. I wouldn't mind seeing one at Burns, one at Crest, and one at Kings Mountain. All three places have in. I'm available, Mr. Hooker, you know, he has to work. And Miss Miller, Donnie, they have to work a little bit, but but we do it at night. They don't have to work at night. She's had experience in the She'll be able to give us some direction. I think she could give us a little ideas, for example, uh, you know, we have to have some rules for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and we couldn't let somebody speak for an hour. Right. And, uh, and in my Experience, Richard, you were there years ago uh, when the old Shelby system went to an uh, intermediate school. We had a form over at Jefferson School, and uh, I guess I learned a little bit from that lesson. And uh, at 11, it started at 7, and at 11 o'clock, the final person, the lady, got up, and, uh, and there was a bunch there. They said the same thing over and over and over again. You know, and uh, she got up there and she said the same thing. That, but then she added that it's just awful to come. You've already made, you board members have already made up your mind. And I just, as, as gentle as Lee Gilly is, I just I blurted out spontaneously. I said, ma'am, we're not the ones with the closed mind here. <laughs> and uh, she didn't like it, you know. And later I saw her at a party where I was invited to one time and she was greeting people at the door when I walked in. But she was real nice, but I'm telling you, it can get out of hand. I, I would suggest, and I, I'm not opposed to it, but I think there would need to be good ground rules, but I would suggest mm -hmm. releasing an online survey, getting that out there for a few weeks first, giving people that opportunity, and then if we need to hold one or two forums, I think that gives people the opportunity to, to handle it either way and that way because you also don't want to, um, hope people will be respectful enough to say something derogatory against our current superintendent also because I think it, people just need to be respectful. And um, I, I think that while we, we do need to, to give people the opportunity to, to let us know how they feel, a lot of that will be heard through through online surveys. Um, if we get that a chance to work and then hold a meeting or two. Yes, sir. We could get somebody to mediate, in other words, and, 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 and do a guideline. In other words, have one in the upper end, one over here, and one, uh, like I say, if we have three of them, let somebody mediate the word that it's going to go to the rules and guidelines and, and not get out of hand. Uh, maybe, you know, some individual uh, that someone knows. And, and we also need to keep the timeline in mind, too. Right. You know, if, if we're going to try to get this completed before June 30th, we can't spend right. a couple we, of months. We have to with the board. Excuse me, by the way, I'm trying right. And so <laughs> we will need to keep that in mind because I don't think it would be fair to hold any of those meetings where everyone could not be present because I think we would all need that. Uh, and, and so it's going to be a little dicey in there. Thanks, Barton. We need to do it before the uh, deadline of application because uh, we take that input that people might would give to help make decisions on who we hire. Yeah, but what Ms. Miller is saying is we shouldn't let all of this interfere with our ultimate goal. In other words, we got to fit it all in make our goal of hiring a new superintendent to go on board July 1st now. We might not make it, but we got to strive for that. I, I think, uh, maybe I'm, this is, this is just a sample. Right. We're going to come up with our own next week for when we need with the palace and if it's 
the only is that correct? Defend, the only real definitive date on there is whatever we work out for next, next week. Next week. And okay. hopefully she can tell me tonight and I'll email you. Uh, don't necessarily wait up for it tonight, but it'll be there tomorrow morning. Okay. Uh, a question on the uh, the possibility that we may not have a superintendent by August 1st. Uh, I know the first two calendars she gave us, but neither one of those have a date that, that early. And certainly I would love to have us have one by, uh, by July 1. But what is the process if we don't have a superintendent named then? Name an acting superintendent? Is that the procedure? Well, I, think, I think that's what it would be, but I think it's what we would decide. And I'm not sure we're ready to decide that just yet. I mean, I think we should be thinking about it. Probably have a plan B, as you what you're saying. Well, uh, you know, things things just like with the weather tonight, things do have a tendency sometimes to get in the way, and things slip, and th things happen. And uh, uh, certainly, I don't want us to rush the process to the point of uh, making an unwise decision in the in the haste to bring somebody on on board on July one. And if it takes an extra month uh, to to find the best candidate, then let's not be hesitant to, to take the time it takes to, to get the, the good candidate. Well, now, I, I, before we leave, I would like, uh, Dr. Boyle, so could you help us a little bit with, uh, uh, should we uh, recess this to another meeting time set in the future, or should we just wait and tomorrow make another call meeting? You, you have the ability to make calls emergency meeting for a reason and, and of course it would be you can call a meeting within 48 hours notice without being emergent yes right so right. You, you can call i mean i would say you, this, it would be appropriate to uh, adjourn this meeting and call another meeting okay. Okay. While, okay. I'm, while i'm yes sir i got the floor i'll just tell you also i don't have to send an email we're closed for so. okay. we're closed for i'm glad you didn't turn the power off tonight uh, <laughs> 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 You know. <laughs> <laughs> to eat off. Oh, I thought I thought your old man Rock was doing something. Okay, do I hear a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Second. Move to second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Aye.